My name is Fred and in this video I'll show how to compute areas under a function that is to make integrals and my first task is with this function f of x equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and I want to find the area between where x is between minus 0 0.5 plus up to 1 First I'll just make this one red, so we can recognize it, and then I'll maybe call it area 1, or whatever, equal to integral of the function f starting value minus 0 0.5, comma, up to the 1. And here the area is computed, comes at once of that. I can see I reuse that function but I do not need the area anymore so I delete that one. Now I have another function t of x. So I have t of x and that is equal to x up to 3 minus 6x plus 4x plus 3. That goes. Did I do it right? x to 3, no. It looks differently. That should be 2 there. And that is. That was better. I'll make that one blue. So there it is. And the area I want is the one between the two functions here. I could call it area 2 equal to the integral and now I want between two functions, integral, integral between, and the function first should be the top one, that is g up above f in this area. And I'll start off, well I don't know where to start off, so I have to find the intersections there and there. The two will intersect one more place, but I'm not interested in that one. So now I can make a start value here, because that is the x value of the point A. And the ending value, well I could put down 0 0.75, but I could also say it's x value of the point B. And here I have the area 2 computed. And that's it. My third and final task comes here. I do not need the g of x function anymore, so I'll remove it, and while I do so, I'll remove anything dependent on it, and that's the points and g area. So by deleting the function, I get a clear view to my original function, the one I want to use now. So now I want to use the find the integral, capital F of x, equal to the integral of the function f. And here it goes. I'll then tell the students, well, I want to make a differentiation of that one. So I'll call it fm of x equal to f mark of x. And fortunately, I get exactly what I started off from. Well, I wanted to rename it because it's really capital F. I want it. Now I'll now make a new function f something k no capital F k of x equal to the original integral f of x plus let's say 7 oh, 3 then we can see it. There it is just moved up a little bit Maybe I'll not show the other ones. I'll take that one away, and I'll take that one away, not to show it. So I've just added a tree, and I could show the students what happens if I make a f mark 2 of x equal to f k of x with a mark on it. That is, I make a differentiation again. 
and I can see I get exactly the same function again. So I wave that one, delete. I wave that one, delete. I have my original f of x, I need that one. Uh, maybe I do not need this one, but still I'll just keep it because now I'll make a slider. I'll make a slider with a k. And the reason for that is I want to solve my final problem here. That is with a point a equal to 1.3. there. I want to find the integral function that goes through there. I have two here. One is too far high and this is too low. So I'll redo that one. The k of x. I'll say it's plus the k I've got. So now I can move my k here and I can make it work. This seems fine. Maybe not don't know. Let's move it a little bit here. Let's change the scale. Let's zoom in. Well, I've been quite lucky, but now I can see it's a little bit wrong. Maybe I can't make it better because the changes here are in a way so I cannot come closer. Then I have to redo this one with K. Object properties the increment was 0 0.1. Well, I could make it 0 0.01. I would have a hard time doing it, but okay, okay, I'll try it. So now I could try if I could make it a little bit better here. Uh, if I could manage to work it all the way through, it's a little bit better. 6.5, maybe it's 6.6 six then. So the answer to my problem is my F solution of f of x is e equal to f of x plus 0 0.66 I believe should be ah maybe 67 so I'll hide that one and now my solution is quite alright. This is trial and error and I know there are formulas for making this and you could use the CAS window for computing it. But the students would understand the concept if you do it in this way at least at first. Then you can use the formulas afterwards. And this ends the video on areas.